Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. I want to talk to you guys about something, okay? Because it is so freaking glaring to me. Uh, glaring to me. Now, guys, let, let's take the flip-flop flying and the performance art and all that shit. Put that stuff aside. Put that stuff aside. Bro, I watch the Attitude Era on Sunday. Then I watch Raw on Monday. Okay, so I'm watching these shows back to back. Ben, here is the glaring difference. When I am watching Raw, Attitude Era, no matter who's in the ring, I'll give you a perfect example, bro. There was just a three-way match between Road Dog, Mosh, and D'Lo Brown. Okay? Bro, no matter who's in the ring, Ben, it looks like they're beating the shit out of each other. This is 63-year-old Vince telling you, bro, D'Lo, Road Dog, and Mosh in a meaningless three-way look like they're beating the shit out of each other. Ben, later on in the show, this is when Vince had just given the hardcore title to Mick and gave Mick the makeover and all that. Bro, there was a no holes barred, false count anywhere, no DQ between Shamrock and Mick. Forget about it. For, forget forget about it, bro. Bro, then I go to Monday night and I'm seeing the Miz, the Miz. I don't need, I can't, I forgot how many years he's been in the business. Every one of these been look like a freaking fake fight. And I don't care who's in the ring. Nothing looks real. And, and my thing is, I'm looking at footage from 1998. Here we are in 2024. So we have 25 years of going from everything looking like it was absolutely real to nothing looking like it's absolutely real. That's, that's the question I want to ask. How 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 did we go from something that was so believable to you can't believe this shit if you want to believe it? Oh, well, that's a, the five star question, isn't it? Uh, as far as high spot wrestling took over, um, you know, the fundamentals and the Triple H era of running NXT and whatnot obviously doesn't tell the fun show the fundamentals of simple strikes laying it in there and then you can go back to the earliest um tough enoughs where he was in the ring and they were throwing punches on him he's snap selling and registering and like telling guys good good no if you sell like that i'm gonna hit you for real like that type of shit the era he came from now we miss springboard kicks and knees by this much and somebody has to go i don't think they got all that one while they're on a half shitty cell only to come to life and throw a super kick of their own where they slap their thigh so again i've caught plenty of um promos on the developmental system it seems in the last two weeks whether it's sasha banks's terrible performances uh kind of exposing like here's somebody that claims that this is a wwe property from the ground up to what we're seeing on raw where they can't even throw and or sell a punch like neither guy or girl is doing their job at the most fundamental level of protecting each other while making it look real they're just waiting to get their shit in on some high spot to hopefully become twitter fodder the next day the actual quality of work is definitely not there and they're obviously not watching their self and going wow that looks fucking rotten i need to tighten up my punches and kicks or not do 58 of them do one and make it mean something that that's yeah. a big part of what's going on too stevie i gotta ask you because you of all people at ecw like bro the 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 the, the, the ecw stuff that i did watch I swear to God, it was always whenever I watched it, somebody's going to die. That that was always the feeling. And you guys like literally went all out, put the bodies out there. Bro, I can't imagine going to the back at ECW, bro, whether it's you, Dreamer, Taz, Bubba, Sandman, whoever, 
And the guy, d- during your match, the guy freaking mamby pambying it out there where everything looks so fake and phony, which in turn makes you look like shit now. I, I, I can't imagine, bro, if today's style what was the style of ECW and how those guys would have dealt with that. Well, the, the thing with ECW is there were guys like the Rottens and other people that it was pretty much a shoot, even with Perry Saturn and Cronus. But within storylines, I was kind of insulated in the Raven Dreamer, Luna, you know, the pay, all the stories. But it came time for the actual payoff. Things got a little bit real. They were physical. It needed to look good. Number one, back then and even in the sit era of WWF, if it looks like shit, you're not going to sell it. If it continues to look like shit and weak, you're going to get eaten up in the ring and you're going to get squashed. That's the thing that will teach you as a young wrestler. Now, we're not saying hit anybody for real, but like the Rip Rogers, punch the balloon or the string, get as close as you can as possible. And if it's weak and it's a, and then if it continues to be weak and it continues to be not something that suspends disbelief, you're off TV. You're not booked. Go back and learn how to work. That's the problem. Everybody, everybody's a star at NXT, which is essentially a wrestling school with television. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. This is a school show. Like Ben, if he ran a school show, this is like the old Iron Mike Sharps school where we did an exhibition every two weeks for the students. But we're seeing these people get paid to learn. And that, where Ben says, I think the big problem with the developmental system is you, most people are getting paid to learn how to wrestle. That's a bad, that's a just a bad way to break in. No gratitude for a push. And I, this is from somebody at 23, 24 years old did not understand the gravitas of an actual push in TV time. But I eventually learned. And they think they're all good already because they're getting paid. They, well, I'm getting a paycheck. I must be awesome at this shit. I, like, I don't really need to get any better. What I'm doing is good. And nobody there is saying, no, your fundamentals are rotten and tighten and tighten it up or else, you know, or let's watch tape and see what I can do. So when I do get the, extended Shawn Michaels hug and hat put over I, and I'm going up to the main roster. I don't look like total trash when it's, when the bell actually rings, but that's when we say inside the bubble, you do not, they never see things clearly and they never probably will, to be honest with you. And, and, uh, it, it makes you I mean, watch this show. And then I go, wow, there's a two-year-old, there's a three-year-old, there's a four-year-old, there's a five-year-old in the fucking front row. We're reviewing a children's show. Like there is, I mean, there is no 18 to 49 when it comes to this stuff. They might uh, have sexy women and, and and play a little risque, but you want to see who this show is for, go look at the front row last night. So we might as well be reviewing Sesame Street and talking about the quality of puppetry that goes on at this point, you know? So but I want to push back on that, Ben. Go ahead. Or are we to say, I bring this up every so often, they're making more money than they've ever made before. Sure. They are selling out houses. They're doing a but lot. I'm not, of- I'm not going to treat it like I'm watching Rocky. I'm going to treat it like I'm watching Ice Capades yeah. because right. that's the level of, of, of quality but that's out are there. Are we in the PGR? Because supposedly with the Paul Levesque era, that PGR, they were doing, they, they're doing everything else different. Camera shots, not the quick cuts every two seconds. They, they've made adjustments in the production, but what's the identity of WWE? That's my question. Yeah. AEW doesn't have an identity and we always rag on them, but WWE really outside of Triple H, who isn't even on the show, <laughs> they talk about him, but what's the identity of this company? Let, let me tell you something, Stevie. People are going to be in for a rude, rude awakening because all we had last night, we had two things, bro. Long, drawn out ass in rings. You know, uh, J- Drew McIntyre repeating himself. We've seen Drew McIntyre cut the same CM Punk pro- promo 10 times. Randy Orton, bro, I never thought I would see a Randy Orton pander to the crowd the way he's pandering to the crowd. No Gunther, no physicality, just droning on and on and on. The beginning promo, Judgment Day, on and on and on. These three-way matches. 
on and on and on. And I got to tell you, Stevie, next Monday is their last Monday without Monday Night Football. The following week, when you got Monday Night Football on the other channel, bro, they're not going to stick around for 12-minute Randy Orton monologues, and they're not going to stick around for a a, a 15-minute Pete Dunn match. They're not going to. They're not, I'm telling you, they're not going to. And we we are going to see another drop. Bro, this is what people don't want to talk about. I'm talking about Stevie. They're selling out arenas. I agree with all that from a business point of view. But I, I got to tell you, bro, to me, they have one problem very similar with AEW. And because it's similar with AEW, it's similar. It's similar with the with wrestling in general. Stevie, they're not getting any new viewers. It, it, it's the same people are watching Raw every single week, just like AEW. Since The Rock left, those numbers have consistently been going down every week. They tuned in to see The Rock as soon as The Rock left. The casuals left, and we were right back to the same audience we have every Monday night. And that's why now you're going to lose even some of that audience when Monday Night Football starts up again in two weeks. And and, and again, Stevie, I, I, you can't argue the fact they are not drawing new viewers. No, I, I don't disagree with any of that. And as a matter of fact, I think... Right now, just like every year, there's that wrestling post WrestleMania kind of spike in business. But this year is a little bit different because in January 2025, they're moving to Netflix. They have nothing to prove with Fox, maybe a little bit with USA, but that's where SmackDown's going, correct? Yes. And Raw's okay. going to Netflix. Here's my question. They probably already threw in the towel for Monday Night Football, which you and I creatively don't agree with. You can still right. get strong. That's the mistake because they're phoning in and phoning it in, assuming that, well, the Netflix crowd is different than the cable crowd or the Fox, you know, over the air antenna free TV crowd. So, but what you need to do now is make your product worth the 12 to however many dollars a month that now people are going to pay next, next year. And unless NFL really steps up the paywall stuff if Monday Night Football and other things are at least available on basic cable, Amazon Prime, or sometimes network TV, CBS and Fox, why am I going to pay $12 to $20 a month for Netflix to watch a show that's been free for 25 you, years, 30 years? You know why, Stevie? The same reason they're watching the show now for free. Habit. Habit. Same reason. They're Bro, they're, they're, the same people. Now, now it's not ratings. It's actually subscribers and the right. money. Right. WWE. Netflix can look and see what subscribers are watching on Netflix, correct? Yes. Yes. And this is going to be live. So you're going to be getting some maybe minute to minute or quarter hour metrics if you want them. Yeah. It's yeah. a completely different animal. And people, it's just like shot Tom when we say there's no way, you know, AEW fans complain. They, he can't just wake up, snap his fingers, and then shut down AEW. Oh, yes, he can. And yeah. Netflix can turn around and say, here's the $100 million or $50 million penalty because you guys aren't working out. We're not paying the rest yeah, of look at, look, look at Fox. Look look at Fox. Yep. No, nobody wants to talk about that. Bro, the, the big the big misses, no, nobody wants to talk about. <laughs> like, the, WWE lost Fox. Nobody wants to talk about that, bro. No, bro. Yeah, the, they the, been still there if they were drawing fours and fives. Exactly. AEW went all in last year to all in this year with half the crowd from last year. Nobody wants to talk about things. Ben, my 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 thing I was telling Stevie was this. You know, you know, he, I know he just p- pushed back with you a little about they're selling out, they're doing this, they're doing that, and they're doing everything else. I agree with all that, but I got to tell you, Ben. I think the same problem exists with WWE that AEW has. I don't care what you say, bro. I don't think they're bringing new fans in. I I think it's that same crowd and audience watching this show 
every single week. They are not bringing non-wrestling fans to watch this, bro. Well, that's why we've gone to NCAA colleges to give them world title belts. (laughs) 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 The West Virginia Mountaineers, you're the goddamn world champion. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you're, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, it's just generational that those attitude era fans that are now grandparents or becoming grandparents or the millennials are bringing their little kids. It's the same. Stevie's not wrong in that they're making more money. They've Mm -hmm. just understood how to take that operantly conditioned a group of mice that will go up and press the electricity button instead of the food button because they're conditioned that way to keep digging in their pockets generationally. Because when we allegedly had the conversation, it was SmackDown was at a 3.6 rating, went all the way down to 1.8 and bounced back to 2.1. And now everyone's like, they're having the best time under the Triple H era. Like, no, you're. They know that's a lie. They're lying to themselves, and they keep spewing it forward. That is mind control. <laughs> that is 100% it is, it mind is. control. I, I get these facts out real quick because we yeah. always use the analogy of one of the best shows, especially the last season on Fox, was Gotham. Just getting its legs. People liked that it. it had a very loyal, hardcore following. It, you know, I have the season five uh, uh, ratings here from 1 to 12, episode 1 to 12, the, this, these are the ratings in millions. 2. 2. 2.5, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 
even in when they're laying it out, they think it's it's ironically funny that they've gone down this road a hundred times. So now Kevin Owens gets to call out the game moves. We all know where this is going to go. So let's just skip the actual action. Bring out all this and all this. Make the match, and then I they're they're actually calling out the script of how they do things yep. and now not doing it thinking it's a funny tongue in cheek that we're so fucking lazy that yep. we don't care about TV time that we already got your money that we don't even need to put together a decent show cuz we're out of here peace <laughs> isn't that funny everybody yeah. that we don't give a shit like that's exactly what SmackDown was this week dude i've been what's uh, what's happening at Ravens joint all kinds of weed sales going down at- 